WKRG is celebrating a major milestone, our 60th anniversary. Our signal hit the airwaves on September 5th, 1955. Mel Showers has been an integral part of WKRG for much of the station's existence. The man you have come to trust has been with WKRG for 46 of its 60 years. Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Mel Showers, first on five. Thank you, Alan. It's time now for sports, and here's Randy Patrick. Thank you for watching. Good night, everyone. Good night. It all started back in 1969. Mel had returned home to Mobile from the Middle East, where he served in the Air Force, military intelligence. At the urging of his father, he auditioned for a job at WKRG. There is the first black person on the air. And from for WKRG and for Mobile, Mobile, Pensacola. There she is, Estelle Payton. An assistant to Chef Connie B. Hope, Estelle Payton had a non-speaking role on a cooking show. But WKRG and community leaders were ready for an African-American to take on a more prominent role in local television. 21-year-old Dees was brought here to the USA Medical Center by his brother. Mel Showers would become a household name and the face of WKRG. WKRG, handpicked by the man whose initials are the call letters of the station, its founder, Kenneth R. Giddens. I, I have had to carry this banner with a great deal of respect and pride. Respect for Mr. Kenneth R. Giddens, who entrusted me with this big responsibility. And gosh, I just hope that... Uh, I've uh, lived up to his expectations. Well, the Mobile County Grand Jury remained busy all day today. Mel first took to the airwaves during a time of segregation in Mobile. They knew that I was going to take some heat when I first got on the air. Okay. So they came to me and said, don't you worry about any negative feedback you may or may not get. Mel has worked every shift and held every on-air position. We do all of this by computer now. In the early days, he covered elections. When we would get in the election results, we would write them in a magic marker, the results by hand. That's how we did it back then. Magic markers. Can you believe that? He anchored sports. It was the 31st annual Senior Bowl and scoring wasn't a problem. And even dabbled in another area of news. You've also done weather. I did a little weather. <laughs> yeah, very little, but I did. They thought my name kind of was, yeah. was a great fit for weather. Showers. <laughs> there was plenty of exciting basketball today played around the country. His confident delivery and likable personality have made it easy for viewers to connect with him. Yeah, by the way, the Nutria are edible. They're clean vegetarians, and the guys tell me that they're best when they're barbecued. From Nutria to natural disasters and man-made ones, Mel Showers has been delivering the news for as long as many people can remember. And uh, just before the voltage was administered, he also gave uh, everyone a thumbs up. One of the most compelling assignments, Mel recalls, is witnessing the execution of Ku Klux Klansman Henry Francis Hayes for the 1981 one hanging death of Michael Donald. His facial expression was, I'm ready to go. And just a few moments later, those thumbs went down and he was dead. And I witnessed that. And I'll always remember that. Are you at peace with that? The only reason I'm at peace with it is because if you think about what happened to that 19-year-old innocent young man that they hung from a tree, and uh, you'll have a little, a little less trouble dealing with it when you understand what he and two others did that night. For Mel, it's gratifying to see improved race relations in his hometown. Viewers of all races embrace him. The hate mail has turned into fan mail. Uh, and my suggestion is... Tell me. Even at this point, 46 years later, that's how you deal with it. You keep smiling. That's it. That is the key to my success, is to smile. You said it trumps hate. Yes, the smile trumps hate. And what a gorgeous smile it is. <laughs> now, i got to admit, I had a lot of fun digging back through some of those old tapes. What's it like for you to look at all that? Do you remember all those stories? My hair. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to my hair? <laughs> you still have it. It's just a little shorter, that's all. <laughs> uh, 
Has it been 46 years? Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you.